And that potential move north of the border comes as there are changes in the rules to cross the bridge, at least if you're already allowed to enter Canada. Though, as you can see, that hasn't changed traffic much at the Peace Bridge. Two on your side's Jeff Preval looks at what's changing, what isn't, and what's next. 75% that's the number of eligible Canadians that Canada wants to get fully vaccinated before there's a big easing of restrictions at the border. So where do they stand now? According to the country's vaccine tracker, 40% of Canadians 12 years old and older are fully vaccinated. 78% have received at least one dose. And I'll tell you, our second vaccines are moving very aggressively. Niagara Falls, Ontario Mayor Jim Diodati is hopeful there will be more border restrictions lifted later this month. So the projected date is July the 21st from the federal government. So far, it looks like we're tracking to hit that number, and it's our objective, it's our hope that by Ju July the 21st that the border is open at least to people fully vaccinated. But for now, only certain restrictions have been lifted for fully vaccinated Canadians. No longer will they have to quarantine when they return back to Canada, nor do they have to take a COVID test on the eighth day back in Canada. They still have to get a COVID test before going back. Some tourism officials on our side of the border think that the changes could result in Canadians deciding to have longer stays here. Whenever the border does reopen for more non-essential traffic, Diodati believes there will be a blast from the past with long lines of traffic at the border. I think there's going to be a little bit of pandemonium because there's built up, pent up demand. People are dying to do all the things that they've been doing without for the last year and a half. Now, restrictions on non-essential travel heading to Canada expire on July 21st. We'll have to see whether there's an extension of those restrictions or not. In Niagara Falls, outside the Rainbow Bridge, I'm Jeff Preval, Channel 2 News.